Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Last time, we went through a strange place called Moonside, which turned out just to be a an illusion, a genjutsu, if you will, if you're a Naruto fan, created by the Manny Manny statue, and yes, it is very quiet in this room, it's kind of disconcerting. Anyway, after we destroyed the Manny Manny statue, which had been causing problems anyway, we then received a message from the... I think this is the Dolly Rama that says is called to uh, come and meet him. So here we are. But first, let's open these up. Brain food lunch. I believe that uh, restores PP. And a couple life noodles. You can always use those. Haven't used one yet, but you might at some point. Ah, here comes the music. Oh, that's a lie. Hmm, we have yet to meet Pooh. I kind of already did that, but thanks anyway. Oh, I should have opened up another space in my inventory. Ah, the gourmet yogurt machine. Anyway, um... I guess I'll eat a picnic lunch. I would need to get that night pendant from Ness. Oh, now he's gonna say it again. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, 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 that's a lie, yeah, yeah. person and from the neglected express the yogurt dispenser which only dispenses trout yogurt but we need it um yes please why wouldn't we teleportation I'm going to do it before I forget. So let's just eat that. And give the night pendant to Ness. And there we go. Because I knew I'd forget to do that. Anyway, let's go outside now. Yeah, we have to walk there, but it's not that far. Just keep going right. Yeah, the teleportation. Remember we kind of when that monkey came to tell us about this guy? It kind of did that weird running thing? Well, we're about to find out what that's about. Also, when we first met it, it was like all like burned to a crisp, and we'll see what that's about too. Let's go. We're almost out of here. There we go. <coughs> All right. There you are. Oh, seriously? That freaking mole should know better by now. But it always gets me. Nice. But it's a bit trickier than that. Notice how it runs straight forward. And then it comes back. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, if you've uh, seen my 
mother let's play or Earthbound Zero, then uh, you'll know what's going on here. Yay! We're gonna be using that a lot. All right, thanks, teacher. Now that he's gone, before we teleport, I would like to call the Escargo Express. And I'll just do this off screen to save time for you guys. All right, so I stored the bag of Dragonite, the pencil eraser, and uh, the, the laser gun that Jeff has, because I don't think you can actually sell that. So you, can, you just have to store it. Anyway, teleportation. Um, for those new to this, let me show you how it works. Now, let me show you what happens when you fail first, just so you can see. So I'm going to be facing a wall here. I press teleport, and I can pick my place. We're actually going to want to teleport to Winters, but this isn't going to work anyway, because watch. Yeah, remember when we saw the monkey all burnt up? That's because it crashed. So if you uh, try to go and then you hit something, you'll still use the PP that you needed to, but you won't make it there. So you need either a straight road or you can actually turn. Just make sure you don't hit anything before the teleportation officially happens. So, let's go to Winters. Luckily, it only costs 2 PP anyway, so it's not a big deal if you mess up. And the reason why I want to come here is because there are actually really good things in this shop. And I want to get them now. First, let's sell some stuff. Ness can sell. Handbag strap, I don't need that. I forget what that does anyway. Oh, I guess I think by. Anyway, yeah, some nice weapons. We couldn't get these. Jeff was here before, but we couldn't get anything with him. And I actually need to access my ATM. More off screen stuff doing. Okay, so I bought a weapon for Ness. I also got this, because we're going to get Paula back soon enough. Now that we have what we need to go further into the Monotoli building. Actually, I was saying it Monotoli, but I think it's pronounced Monotoli, as in this, like, rhymes with Monopoly, because, you know, big corporation and all that. Anyway, I don't want to check on that real quick. 300 HP and 50 PP, that is awesome. I want to keep that on hand. But, uh, I got what I need here. I also sold some excess equipment. Let me start far back, and let's go to Foreside. Okay, made it. Because I believe we are now ready to head on upstairs. Lordy, lordy. Sorry, I don't know what. I don't know what I am doing. And I'm not going to stare at your hips. Jeez. Women. Am I right, guys? Am I right, huh? Yeah, no. I, okay. Like, I, I would know too much about women anyways. Oh, you know what? I don't, didn't want to even go up. I want to talk to the maid, which is downstairs. Crap. Time wasting. Well, at least it's making up for the time that I didn't waste by cutting out stuff. Anyway. Who am, I, who am I looking for? Oh, she's right there. Jeez. I sure do. <laughs> Fair enough. It's not like we wanted that anyway. Oh, no, you know, it's fine. 48th floor, that's uh, higher than we've been allowed to go before. It's the elevator that only Mr. Monotoly can use.
You know, it would be cool to like have your own business and your own big building and your own private elevator. I would enjoy that. Yep. Ah, okay. And up we go. And now we are in a sort of a dungeonish area. So uh, let's see, I have my map here because there's some items we can get. And some, uh, uh oh, um, code, let me, what, what is it? It's, uh, fuzzy pickles? No, that's not it. And yeah, we had to fight. There's no code you can give. So, sentry robot. Okay, yeah, these guys, uh, let's try auto fighting. <laughs> Ow. Ooh, nice job with the smash. Anyway, these two doors lead to the same room, and that room is empty, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, these rooms. Oh, jeez. Our bathroom's in some ways having a tough time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we already have been through this. Yes, thank you. Ooh, Nessus level is 39. And just so you know, those uh, things can also fire bottle rockets. Ouch. Luckily, it actually went for Jasper and missed. Alright, offense by three. Nice. Ooh, life of Gamma. Still wish, wish Nessus would stop missing. Anyway, Jeff is up to. Ooh, maximum HP went up by 12. How about in here? Oh, some. Jeez. They're having a tough time in here. What do they feed you guys here? Alright, um... These two also all both lead to the same room, but I have to go in anyway. I'll have to see if I can sneak past this thing. Oh, I can't. Jeez, that thing fired two ball rockets in a row at Ness, and it would've killed him if we didn't kill it first. Dang. Anyway... Heal up a bit. Oh, he's already at max. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, this leads back down to that hallway, so we want to go up this way. And if we go up here... No, ah! Ness, you need to stop missing! Jeez, his accuracy is horrible. I'm not sure, even sure there's a stat that dictate, dictates accuracy. You know, speed, guts, vitality... I think speed might, actually. Alright, anyway. So, sun guts fill? I don't need it, but it's there. Jeez, these things can also call for help. Anyway, we want to head to the left door first, because... We get an awesome vital capsule. And I'm going to uh, get Paula back before I decide whether I want to use that or not. But remember, don't use it on Ness. Besides, he doesn't even need it. Jeez. If we go up here... Hey, it's Electra. Yay! 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 No, he's not. <sighs> You're a little bit naive, aren't you? Alright, so let's head through here. What the heck is that thing? Um, what? Yeah, it's a boss fight. The clumsy robot. So, I guess just, uh... You know what, why not? I will use some powerful PSI rockin', but don't use any of your big ball rockets or anything on it, just uh, regular attacks. For the most part, oh jeez. Oh, okay, so it has a psychic shield. So, yeah, just regular attacks. Ow, ow. Oh, jeez. PSI. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, Ness. There we go. Yeah, there, see? That's how you can use the uh, numbers to your advantage. Jesus, thing. 
This is just a confusing boss fight right here. I'll tell you that much right now. And it ate a bologna sandwich, but don't worry, what it's saying is a lie. It doesn't actually matter about its HP. You'll see what I mean. Just keep attacking. Come on. I'm waiting for something. Jeez. Oh, come on, don't do that. PSI, recover, life up. Saved him again. And actually, I want to save myself, too. Jeez. Yeah, this thing can cause some issues. Yeah. Stop that. This is going on way too long. Right, doing something wrong here. Ah, here we go. But what's all this? The runway five rushes into the room. Alright! Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, jeez, thanks. That's... Uh, oh, well, they have saved us. Finally, the Runaway 5 does something for us. Do we get any experience? Oh, ooh, a lot of experience. 40, yeah, baby. Dude, we're getting some good stat gains now. 26, 13, oh, that was awesome. Thank you, Runaway 5. And, oh, I guess I had to... Thanks, guys. <laughs> well, it's kind of occupied. Huh? Could it be? Well, let's go check. Hey, it's Paula! Better give up. Wait, did he? He healed us. Hey. Yeah, this, guy, this guy's a wimp. Okay. What the heck happened here? You better not have, jeez. Yes, we need her so badly. Yay, happy times are here. Okay, yeah, spill the beans, buddy. Well, we took care of that. Summers? Well, we know where we want to go next. No, no thank you, no. Ooh, alright. So maybe he's not such a bad guy, just like a car painter. He just had some issues with uh, the Manny Manny statue. And there was a hidden door, which was pretty obvious to see, given that it wasn't really flush with the wall. 
but oh well. And we now have Paula back in our party. Alright. So, uh, before we go on, let's give her a non-stick frying pan. And whip that on her. Oh, bam, up to 89. She's not going to be doing much physical attacking, but when she does, she's going to do pretty well. Alright. And let's see. Yeah, she's still at level 33, so she has a little bit of catching up to do. Let's see, her vitality is 9, or just 12. I think I'll give her the vital capsule. I don't actually do it from Ness's inventory. Alright, now let's go outside. Grab that helicopter. Let's, uh, let's go and... Wait, what? We're not inside yet. Hello? Um, could you, could you wait? Oh. What's going on? What? Oh, for crying out loud. What is up with you, dude? Seriously. What what are you trying to accomplish, Porky? And how do you know how to fly a helicopter? Oh. Son of a gun. Uh, Mr. Monotoly, do you happen to have a spare helicopter? I, I hope I hope I hope he is not I hope he is opposite the opposite of what you just said. Huh? Paula? You okay? You're alright then. Oh. Okay, so I guess she got kind of a psychic vision. So back to three. Hmm. <laughs> uh. All right. And back out we go, and I think the robot should be gone. Looks to be that way. What's up, buddy? Well, we already know who that is. Gaigus. A phase distorter. Oh. Alright. Guess we'll learn more about that when it becomes relevant. Um, no. Well, I know you meant theirs, but they'd be nice enough to do it. So let's uh, skedaddle. Actually, first, I want to check something. Is this the room that Porky's dad was in? Pokey, whatever you want to call him, I will continue to refer to him as both. Before he's like, Porky's made it big. He's all right, and now I'm here living a high life because of him. But he's not there anymore. I think we can see him again later. Like you have to kind of look for him. But we can see him again later, and he'll have a little bit more to say. Nothing relevant, just a little thing. Wanna, you, can, you can try me. Won't go well for you. Well, 
Similarly, I'm going to look directly at your hips. I will not stop looking at your hips. Eye contact will be maintained on your hips for the entirety of the elevator ride. Just because you won't shut up about it. Huh. Anyway, still got the Runaway 5 theme going on. And there's the bus! Sure, why not? I don't see why not. I mean, we can teleport to 3 now, but it's all good. We'll just take a ride, listen to some jams, feel that cool air conditioning. I need to get my air conditioning fixed. Well, I need to get. It's not that it isn't fixed, it just needs to be recharged. I need some more of that uh, Freon, is it? Because it's just blasting me with hot air, and that's not a good thing when you deliver pizzas when your car is blasting you with hot air in your eyeballs. Not good. You know, I just roll the windows down, and that's fine. Just ranting to pass the time while the <laughs> while the bus goes. So we finally got Paula back. That's a relief. A huge relief. We got teleport, and that will help us immensely. Here. You sure did. Nah, you did enough. You saved up us from that crazy clumsy robot. Alright. That's a good question. So yeah, he's kind of hinting. Hmm, so we need to be able to fly to get to Summers, but the helicopter was taken. What other device do we know that can fly us there? Well, let's discover that together next time on Let's Play Earthbound. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.